This is part 46 of ASP.NET MVC tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss accessing model metadata from custom templated helpers. Please watch part 45 before proceeding. We'll be using the same example that we worked with in part 45. Now, in part 45, we have customized the date time editor template to use the jQuery calendar. The problem with this template is that we have hard coded the date format string to DDMM yyy as you can see here so from this point on any date time property that uses this template will always format the date using that hard coded string so the dates are always going to be in dd slash mm slash yyy format for example let's say we have customer model class within our project and this class has got date of birth property which is of type date time again now, since it is of type date time, it is going to make use of this template and it's going to render that date also in DDMM of YYY. Now, let's say our requirement is such that we want to render the date of birth in customer class in MMDDYYY format instead of DDMM YYY. In that case, this template cannot be used because it's not generic. We have this hard-coded date format string there which is making it useless with our customer class so let's make this date time editor template you know as generic as possible and if we want to do that we have to remove this hard-coded string and we want our attributes on these properties of the model classes to drive the format of the date rather than this hard-coded string so first of all let's remove that hard-coded string from our date time editor template so let's flip to Visual Studio. So this is the date time editor template that we have been working with. So let's get rid of this hard coded string from this editor template. So we no longer have the hard coded string. And then within our employee class, we have this higher date property. So let's set display format attribute and the data format string here is going to be dd slash mm slash yyy okay so we want this display format attribute to drive the format for the dates so here this is our employee class but then if you have a your customer class there if you want the customers date of birth to be in mmdd yyy all you do is you know use that data format string on that customer class okay all right so now we have this the next change that we have to do is within our date time editor so obviously this higher date has to be formatted using this date time format string okay and then if you want to retrieve the formatted value the formatted date time value then you need to use another property here you can't simply say model dot value model that value is always going to return the unformatted value so at view data dot template info dot formatted model value so this property is going to apply the format string that we have specified on this property so using this format string it's going to format the date and then return that in that format so we use that formatted model va model value property for that so let's build the solution and then let's refresh this view and see if it's going to work so it should apply that format and then display the higher date but then look at this it didn't respect that attribute at all look at that first of all it's displaying the date and it's also displaying the time we don't want the time we just want the date part and the date should be in this format ddmmyyy okay so we didn't get the expected output that's basically because you know if you want this is the editor templates meaning we are actually editing the employee details if we want this date format data format string to be applied in edit mode then there is a flag that we need to turn on so there is another parameter that we need to pass to this display format attribute which is apply format in edit mode we need to turn that on let's build the solution and then let's refresh this So now when the page refreshes, it should respect that. Look at that. We have that date, month, and year, DDMMYYY. 
So in your customer class, if you have date of birth property, and if you want that date of birth in, to be in DDMMYYY format, simply use data format string, specify the format there on that class on that property. So from now on, this date time editor template is going to use the attributes on date time properties to determine the format in which the date has to be uh, rendered. Okay, so we have used uh, template info.formatted model value property to retrieve the formatted uh, date value. All right, and to access model metadata in templates, you know, basically to retrieve the formatted model value, we used template info.formatted model value. Not only that, you can access all sorts of rich metadata using, uh, you know, model metadata object. Okay, so for example, if I want to retrieve the display format string that's applied on higher date property, I simply use at view data dot model metadata dot display format string. So for example, here I want to print the display format string that's there on that class. You can simply say view data dot template um, model metadata dot display format string. Notice that you have that there. So let's actually retrieve that and put an HTML break. And also, let's say we want, you know, the containing class name. So this higher date property is actually present within our employee class, you know, that higher date is for the employee class. So we need to know the type of the containing class. So how do we get that? Again, you can use model metadata class for that purpose. So view data dot model metadata dot containing type is going to let you know that, convert that to string. Okay. Similarly, when you use this model metadata object, you know, as discussed, we'll have access to all sorts of rich metadata. Look at, uh, you know, that when I press dot, the IntelliSense shows you what are all the properties that are available. So these properties will give you access to all, you know, metadata. All right. Let's actually save this. Build the solution. Let's go back to our view and refresh that. So notice that this is the format string that we have applied on the higher date property of the employee class. And mvcdemo.models.employee class is the containing type of this property, higher date. All right. And let's quickly try to save this data and see if everything works as expected. So at the moment, we don't have save button. So let's go back to our edit view. In the meantime, let's actually get rid of these attributes from there. Okay, in the edit view, after the form, we need a save button. So let's put an HTML break there. And let's include, include a button input type is equal to submit. And the value on that, you know, maybe you want it as save. All right. Let's build the solution and let's refresh this. Now we should get the save button. And notice that at the moment for John Smith, whose ID is 1, date of birth is 11-25. That's November 25, 2007. Let's change it to something else. November 30th, 2007. Let's save that. Now look at this. I get this message. The value 30.11.2007 is not valid for higher date. Why is that? That is because within my web.config file, I think we have set you know, the globalization culture to English hyphen United States. So US has got this format by default, which is MMDDYYY. But here it is. Uh, DDMMYYY. So that's why, you know, it treats that as an error. So to get rid of this error, I'm going to change the culture to EN-GB. And let's refresh this. Now let's try to, you know, enter 30, save that. And notice that it gets saved. And then let's quickly check within the database. So November 30th, 2007. All right. On this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET, C Sharp, and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.